Hi, I'm Sylvain Dubois. I'm the VP Business Development and Marketing of Crossbar. Uh, we are doing a memory uh, IP for computer visions. Here in this example, we have optimized the memory array for uh, neural network accelerations. As you can see here, we are using the RERAM for the classification phase of a license plate recognitions. We have a face recognition uh, applications. And um, we basically recognize a uh, license plate in this case that we can um, uh, perform everything on the memory. So it's a non-volatile, high performance, low energy, perfect for edge computing inference applications. Okay, so what we have done for computer vision is in this example of face recognitions, uh, you have a classic neural network where you identify different uh, metrics of your face, and the classification phase of this neural network is to compare your face uh, among a huge database of other faces. In this example, you have an input that has to be compared with a big database. With Crossbar RAM, you can have a very wide memory, so all these comparisons are done in one cycle, which is totally different from the other technology where you have to go one by one and check if these faces exist or not in the database. So it's a very fast, low energy, because it's non-volatile, where you don't need these neural networks to be active, like a surveillance camera or mobile phone or wearables. Um, every, uh, the data stays in the, in the technology, so you don't have to power up and refresh the data. It's non-volatile memory. And here, it's also very deterministic. Whatever the number is of, the, uh, of units, of units um, you have the same amount of uh, uh, time to perform these, these uh, math functions. When, when, there's no, when there's no match, for example, you can also do some learning. So if you have a new face that is not in the database, you can store this new face here, and the next time you run the face recognition, it will be recognized. So that's the beauty to have a non-volatile memory to accelerate the neural network for these applications, like face recognitions, and you have also license plate recognition or any pattern recognition you want to see. This technology is available for embedded applications. That means that you can integrate the crossbar rerun IP on your SOC or AI chip. Uh, we are available at different process nodes and foundries. Uh, from 40 nanometer, 28, 22 nanometer, 16, 14, 12 nanometer, working with different fab partners and customers to uh, make it happen. We have other demos and other applications. For more information, you can go to our website, uh, crossbar-inc.com, or follow us on uh, Twitter and LinkedIn, and we'll be happy to uh, share more about uh, RERAM and how could this help uh, computer vision algorithms. Thank you.